So I think you have heard about this term also, junk foods. What do you understand by junk foods? Why we call some foods as junk foods? What is the reason behind that? Ready to eat food? Uh, ready to eat foods. No, not all uh, junk foods. Yes, most junk foods are ready to eat foods, but uh, there's a different term for ready to eat foods. And what is that? We can call ready to eat and uh, easily uh, uh, prepare type of foods sweet. as fast foods. Okay. Then what is meant by junk foods? Okay, we use this term junk foods. This is not a very scientific term, but uh, uh, we use this term to uh, uh, denote foods that have higher energy as well as lower nutrients, higher uh, energy dense nutrient for foods are called junk foods. Okay, there's a term called fast foods. So as you miss, uh, uh, Tell told that uh, we can use that fast foods to uh, denote that uh, foods that are easily preparable and uh, ready to eat type things. Okay, most fast foods are also and uh, can be categorized under this category junk foods. Okay, so junk foods are energy dense and nutrient poor foods. Okay, some in some nutritional nutrition you can find these uh, junk foods as uh, discretionary foods. Okay, some nutritionists uh, use the term discretionary foods to denote to uh, denote junk foods. Okay, and they are called yes, discretionary foods and should only be consumed occasionally and in small amounts. It's okay to have junk foods, but in occasionally and in very small amounts. Okay, so, so you will understand that uh, when we uh, consider in the examples for junk foods, these are our uh, uh, highly uh, consumable food items. It means uh, we highly consume these type of food items. Okay, but uh, according to the nutrition guidelines and recommendations, it is okay to have these junk foods in in an occasional manner and in very small amounts, okay? Because these contain higher energy value, but these foods are poor in nutrients, okay? Especially micronutrients and vitamins, minerals, and other essential nutrients, okay? So for many people, junk foods are consumed in excessive quantities and take the place of essential foods in the diet. That's the problem of junk food, okay? As I told, it's okay to have junk foods occasionally in very small amounts, but many people, even in Sri Lanka, they consume junk foods in excessive quantities and they replace the junk foods, the uh, healthy foods, with junk foods, that's the problem. Okay, you will understand. There are lots of problem, problems associated with junk foods. Okay. So uh, if we uh, consider the features of junk foods, these are two convenient type foods. Okay, you don't have much cooking protocols to follow. If you uh, wish to eat these food items, usually these are ready to eat type things. And these are usually uh, actually too tasty. Okay, then uh, it is hard to find junk foods that are not uh, taste tasty. And these foods are, if we uh, consider the general characteristics of junk junk foods, they are too convenient to use and too tasty. As well as they, they are highly available everywhere. It means uh, in uh, restaurants, hotels, supermarkets, we can, we can have, we can buy junk foods uh, in many ways, okay? In many places we can buy junk foods and they are, they are available everywhere, as well as 
they are heavily promoted. If you consider the uh, advertis advertisements, these foods, these junk foods are highly promoted. Okay, therefore, you will see these junk foods in many cutouts and many banners, even in uh, television uh, promotional uh, advertisements. And you will hear about junk foods uh, many, many times in a day. Okay. And also, so commonly consumed, and we often don't notice when we eat it. Okay. Therefore, since this is highly promoted and uh, available in everywhere, okay, then uh, since this is uh, highly available and extensively promoted, uh, we sometimes we don't know whether the food is junk. Okay, so unintentionally, sometimes unintentionally, we may uh, addict to take these foods, and even without uh, noticing properly. Okay, so so can you give examples for junk foods according to the? According to the given details, can you give examples? Pizza. Yes, pizza. Other than that, ham bacon. Yes, ham bacon. So uh, the last categories, the last characteristics I told you about junk foods is that uh, even sometimes we may notice, we may don't notice that uh, these are junk foods. Okay, some foods are that uh, that we consume daily. They also categorize under this food, this category, junk foods. Biscuits also can categorize, categorize under junk foods. Okay. Here I have included common examples for junk foods, for chip, hot chips, pies, cakes, and biscuits. So, so there are, are different kinds of biscuits. Okay, cream, uh, super, super, sorry, uh, what is that? Cream cracker. Mari, chocolate biscuit, so many, many uh, 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 categories there. Okay, sometimes they promote that, uh, especially uh, they, they promote that uh, the biscuits, some biscuits, uh, they uh, does not contain, contain much sugar. But on the other hand, uh, they may contain higher levels of additives and fat. Okay, sometimes uh, there, there's a uh, con there's a, uh, a belief that uh, super cream, so I mean, cream cracker is better in uh, healthy diets. Okay, because it's low in sugar. Yes, that's true. It's low in sugar, but uh, if we uh, see the composition clearly, this cream cracker contains higher amounts of fat. Okay. Therefore, it is also a junk food. Okay, cream cracker samahala tapi ke na ledu parang abe ledu balan dia di, tang api hitan ayo ko honda biscuit teka ke. Atteran balut tem cream cracker ora seni adu ye kat. Namut balut tem ha cream cracker ora ani thamma biscuit teka na wada di na fat. Ekin thamai taste ke dalam. Okay, so biscuit is also a junk food. That's why I told in the earlier. So commonly consumed, and we often don't notice when we eat it. Sometimes uh, we eat uh, uh, healthy biscuits, but uh, even though they are promoted that they, they, those are healthy foods, healthy biscuits, it is also junk foods, nutritionally poor and energy dense foods. And processed meats, bacon and sausages, deep fried foods. And commercial burgers and pizzas, as uh, one student uh, answered, crisps, cream pastas, fried rice, that is highly available in our uh, in local scenario, pastries and donuts, uh, muesli bars, lollies, sugary drinks including artificial fruit drinks, iced teas and flavored water, honey and jams, and alcoholic beverages. Okay. So these are called junk. These are common examples for junk foods. Okay. Apart from that, there can be uh, sometimes, even though uh, near chocolate contain uh, some nutrients, it is in, in some cases considered as 
a junk food. Okay. So uh, if you find details about junk food, you can uh, list down many foods. Okay. So, so what is meant by a um, healthy food? So according to your, your knowledge, so you have learned about nutrition. Um, so if, if I ask that, uh, what is meant by a healthy food or healthy diet? What, what is your answer? Provide more nutrients. Yes, so it provides balanced, new, balanced amounts of portion, portions of nutrients. Okay. In a, a healthy diet, it contain more nutrients. Okay. It can be uh, macronutrients as well as micronutrients. micronutrients. Okay. You know that uh, some uh, nutrients are essential. They cannot synthesize in our body. So we have to take them to diet, to our, to our diet. Okay. So in healthy diets, it, it provide the, uh, all the nutrients with uh, uh, essential amounts that needed to our body. Okay. In junk foods, they contain less nutrients, but they contain higher energy. Okay. So, if we compare healthy foods with uh, versus uh, junk food, so I have I have taken some common food items and broccoli. What can you say? Uh, is it a healthy food or a junk food? Broccoli. Yes, healthy food, it's kind of vegetable. You can say that. And cake? Junk. Junk food. Crisps is also junk. junk food. Yes. Then milk, is it a healthy food or junk food? Healthy. Yes, definitely. Our milk contains lots of nutrients, protein, uh, essential uh, fatty acids and minerals. Cola. Junk food. Yes, definitely junk food. Mineral water. Healthy. Yes, definitely. Water is an uh, essential nutrient. So mineral water is healthy food. Hamburger. Junk. Junk food, definitely. Chips. Junk. Junk food. Cereals. Healthy. Healthy foods. Beans. Healthy. Yes, definitely. Sausages, junk foods, and pineapple is kind of vegetable uh, fruit. So it's we can categorize it as a healthy food. So this is just uh, just to give you an idea about what is meant by junk foods and healthy foods. Okay. So sometimes we may think that uh, uh, eating healthy is uh, more expensive than eating junk foods. But if you uh, carefully consider that, uh, sometimes it's not, okay? Here I have included uh, what can we buy to, uh, okay. So um, I have uh, uh, included that uh, what we can buy for, 500 rupees, uh, if you buy junk foods, then if you buy uh, healthy foods. And for 300,000 3, uh, rupees, what we can buy, if you buy uh, only junk foods, and if you buy healthy food items. Okay, you can see that we can buy more uh, healthy foods uh, than junk foods. Usually these junk foods, uh, we may think that they are not so expensive, but uh, we, we, we take large, uh, higher quantities. Therefore, sometimes uh, it may consume more uh, cost than that of, uh, that, that may consume to buy healthy foods. Okay, so this is uh, exact, uh, I mean, prices may not uh, same, may, may not correct. I, I have included this just to uh, give you an idea, okay? But if, he, if, he, uh, if, that, uh, 
if you tend to buy uh, organic uh, foods so they, they are quite uh, you know that they are quite uh, expensive than that traditionally grown food items okay so that uh, also we need to consider so if we uh, in sri lanka if you go for organic agriculture so i think uh, there can be food security issues so what is meant by food security have you heard about that term? food security ahara surakshita what is that in uh, nowadays uh, it, it, this is a very common uh, term in political stages also as food science students you may know that food security ahara surakshita there's a, a exact definition for that what is that this is not related to uh, this one but we can relate food security ahara surakshita that uh, all people can uh, have food any time uh, without any disturbance or any problem yes yes miss idea is very correct uh, we 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 can say that uh, there is food uh, food security when all people at all time have access to safe and nutritious food okay when all people at all time have access to uh, sufficient safe and nutritious 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 food okay so when uh, uh, the prices of food items uh, will be uh, increased then you know that uh, uh, in under some uh, income margins people may not uh, able to uh, uh, buy nutritious and safe foods okay so there there can be food security issues so if if the uh, uh, prices of food items may uh, increase okay that that's what happening in sri lanka nowadays so you know that uh, every uh, food not only food uh, uh, prices of everything is uh, increasing so so with regard to agriculture we can we can with our simple knowledge we can predict that uh, there can be food security issues so uh, yes the, uh, if you go for organic agriculture as well as you know that the harvest the uh, the our harvest uh, will be uh, 30% less than the traditional uh, agricultural practices uh, as a figure we can say that and half of the product will be uh, uh, reduced the harvest I, i mean and you know that uh, uh, in as per harvest losses at least 30% is again will be lost so so with the with the remaining amount we cannot uh, feed our people so so that uh, in that sense there can be a food security issue okay so so i just wanted to tell you that if you are more vigilant so you can consume uh, healthy foods with the uh, uh, with the money money you have okay so uh, i couldn't found, found uh, uh, the figures the status of junk food consumption in sri lanka therefore i i have included some figures related to australia so in australia 95% of australians are eating too much junk foods so i got this from their uh, uh, health uh, department website and these are uh, figures that they have 95% of australians are eating too much junk foods and 35% of an, of an adults and 45% of a child's energy intake comes from junk food okay and 20 28% of average household food budget is spent for fast food and eating out so so that is the uh, figures in australia so you know that it is a kind of a developed country so in developed countries the junk food consumption is high 
Okay, therefore, the, the non-communicable non -communicable diseases of that country is increasing. So that's a, a huge health concern, public health concern in those countries. You know that obesity, uh, diabetes, uh, coronary heart diseases, as well as cancers, and over this are increasingly uh, uh, common in people, even in Sri Lanka. So that is the status of junk food consumption in Australia. Okay, and you can, I have included a, a, a flyer on facts about junk food that is also related to Australian uh, health uh, ministry. And uh, if we consider the issues with junk foods, uh, the major issues we have is that junk foods are, junk, junk foods contain too much fat, okay? Under lipid, I discussed with you that uh, the uh, artificial, uh, when we are producing food items, uh, the, uh, it, in, the, in the processing steps, it can produce trans fats. Okay, I told you that trans fat is not good for uh, heart health. And usually these junk foods contain too much fat and uh, unfortunately, and most dangerously, uh, the fat, most fat could be trans fats, okay? You know that uh, the natural fats is in the cis form, and we do the uh, alterations in the cook, uh, cooking and processing protocols that can convert into trans fats, okay? So the trans fat is very dangerous, and carcinogen can cause ca cancers and heart diseases. So these junk foods contain too much fat. Okay, so know that you can understand that that is not good for health. And also, these uh, junk foods contain too much salt. Also, too much salt is not good, good for health, especially for heart health. And also, junk foods contain too much sugar. So these sugars are uh, uh, mostly simple sugars. And you know that, when we consume too much simple sugars, it can increase our uh, glycemic index and uh, it can fluctuate our blood glucose levels uh, in a very variable uh, uh, manner. So it is not good for our health. So, so it's, it, the major issues with junk foods is that they contain too much fat, salt, sugar, as well as they contain too much calories. Okay, apart from that, these junk foods contain lots of additives. Okay, sometimes preservatives, colorants, flavorants, and stabilizers, those things. Okay, you know that uh, using additives is okay, but if we use additives in excessive manner, so that can cause many, many problems. It is just like pesticides. Okay, using pesticides is okay under recommended levels, but uh, if we over consume, over use that, if we use uh, uh, pesticides uh, in higher amounts than the recommended, uh, that is the practice in Sri Lanka. So likewise, uh, food additives is the same. That's okay to use permitted food additives, but uh, in order to increase the flavor, color, and also to preserve food items, we use high levels of additives for junk food. So that's the problem, okay? Apart from that, it contains too much fat, salt, sugar, calories, as well as additives, okay? And most probably, and most commonly, these junk foods does not, uh, do not contain uh, minerals and vitamins. You know that uh, for, to make junk foods, we don't use uh, food and fruits and vegetables as raw materials in most cases. Even even we, we, we may use a salad, so some uh, leaves to decorate junk foods, you know, that even, uh, even a burger that may contain tomato and a, a piece of tomato and uh, something, but uh, the quantity is not enough, okay? It is just to decorate and usually, uh, many junk foods do not contain 
fruits and vegetables as ingredients and thereby they are lack of, lacking of minerals as well as vitamins okay so that's the problems with junk foods if we consider the uh, nutritional dilemma in junk foods it means nutritional again uh, problems in uh, in terms of consuming junk foods we can give you that high in saturated and trans fat which increases the risk of heart disease you know that uh, consumption of higher saturated fatty acids is not again good for your health i we have discussed about that and high in salt can increase risk of high blood pressure and stroke okay usually uh, the uh, junk foods contain higher levels of salts okay that is salts that the we add salts many types of salts uh, even msg is a kind of salt monosodium glutamate uh, we add the salt types to increase flavor and to preserve and for many many purposes and they are uh, they, they are they contain junk foods contain high amounts of salt so these salts are not good in in the sense of uh, blood pressure and uh, that can cause strokes okay low in fiber usually as i said these junk foods does not contain uh, complex carbohydrates thereby they do not contain uh, uh, adequate dietary fiber fruits and vegetables and diets low in these can increase the risk of bowel cancers and as well as uh, due to the presence of additives uh, this can uh, junk foods can increase the risk of many type of cancer not only bowel cancers but also many type many many types of cancers okay so so this here you can see the uh, people who eat lots of junk foods are usually obese so that's the uh, major issue with these junk foods if eating too, too much junk food can lead to overweight and obese obesity we know weight puts a, a lot of strain on our bodies and can can lead to chronic diseases including cardiovascular diseases type 2 diabetes some cancers and non non alcoholic fatty liver disease okay usually uh, as i said junk foods contain higher energy and higher caloric value okay so if we consume junk foods and if we uh, if we if we will not work to burn this calorie so that will store in our body uh, we uh, we know that junk food contain lots of sugar and fat that if that is store in our body that can uh, increase our body weight and usually we will be obese and overweight and being obese and obese and overweight can lead to many uh, non communicable diseases like uh, a type 2 diabetes diabetes some cancers and uh, cardiovascular diseases okay and since junk foods uh, does not contain uh, uh, many uh, uh, fruits and vegetables as ingredients they are lacking lack of vitamins and minerals and also as i mentioned earlier uh, higher levels of additives are there in junk foods okay you know that uh, using much additives in foods items can lead many types of conditions okay sometimes they may have uh, allergic reactions and some additives uh, uh, during the meta metabol metabolism they can uh, produce secondary products and uh, some are some can cause carcinogens you know there's a nitrate and some benzoic acid we have discussed about those things in different subjects so they are used as food additives and so they even though they use as food additives in small amounts so if we consume uh, that in large amounts that definitely harm to our health so that's the problem with uh, junk foods okay and uh, here i have loaded 10 tips for healthy diet
okay so okay so that's what i basically wanted to talk with you and uh, so i have included variety of food items here also as uh, uh, we did in the uh, first case so among these food items you can see uh, junk food items also so it's better to uh, 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 limit the junk food consumption and uh, it's okay to use junk foods but it, but in occasional manner with less amounts okay so so this is also just one ex exercise so here you can see uh, nutritious nutritious food items so when you uh, buy these food items in the uh, supermarket better to go for healthy food items okay so just give you an idea okay so just for that okay so i started talking about uh, uh, this subject uh, by giving you this phrase you are what you eat so i am going to end this course uh, using the same uh, a quote okay you are what you eat so so if you consume more nutritious and healthy food items so we can uh, be like this and uh, if you consume more uh, uh, junk foods and uh, definitely we may end up with obesity and uh, many uh, chronic and non-communicable diseases like uh, diabetes cardiovascular diseases and other things and uh, this just to uh, just to show you that you are what you eat okay and uh, we cannot say that this girl uh, fat this uh, uh, this girl is not beautiful than this one you know that beauty is uh, but, uh, depend on what we see and it is a we call that it's a it's, it's depend on the people uh, people to people i'm not, i'm just this oh, these two girls are so beautiful i just wanted to say you are what you eat okay so in nutrition in nutrition so uh this is a very as i uh, introduced in the uh, very first lecture so uh, this is very very true you are what you eat okay so our diet will uh, mold us to a better person or a, a weak person. I mean, in that sense, that help to our mental health as well as physical health, okay? So thereby, we can say that you are what you eat, okay? So I started with this uh, slide in the first lecture. So I'm going to end the lecture series of mine with that, okay? So do you have any questions? Any questions? So I, I did, as I, I mentioned earlier, I didn't discuss with you, with you about uh, cereals, legumes, and milk, because I know that as agricultural students, you have learned about those things again and again in many, many, under many, many subjects, okay? Even though uh, uh, this semester also, you, must, you might have uh, learned about cereals and legumes as well as milk. So uh, without doing that, I discuss with you, I introduce to you uh, the nutrition assessments. Okay, under that, if you can remember, we discuss with you about direct nutritional assessment methods, anthropometric uh, measurements, and uh, other thing A, B, C, D. If you can remember, and under and, uh, indirect nutrition assessment methods, we discussed again uh, many. Uh, uh, nutritional assessment methods okay clinical biochemical laboratory analysis so okay so so i think i have done my part so do you need anything to 
clarify do you have any problems or give your comments so then i can improve avash dewal mama sathi hatak karanna bara gatte etika mama kala tawuna ay prashna diyana ulu contact karaganna saha mama assignment ekak dunna saha quiz ekak etura mage part ekak i have completed with my 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 best okay thank you thank you very much thank thank you again for your kind cooperation that you have given to me throughout this semester for this and i i i highly appreciate that and thank you very much thank you sir thank you